Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over a few changes which have been made to the channel and to my live streaming and YouTube upload schedules. A few people have been asking me recently why I've stopped live, live streaming on YouTube. They've been coming over to Twitch and saying, hey, why is this not on YouTube? I thought you'd be on YouTube, you're supposed to be on YouTube, 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 YouTube. And the TLDR is that I haven't stopped live streaming on YouTube. It's just that I'm trying to separate the two channels. So up until now, I've been Twitch affiliated, which means that I can earn 50% of revenue from, uh, I think it's Twitch Bits, which is Twitch's digital currency, Twitch subscriptions, which is either through Prime or through tier subscriptions, and advertising revenue and things like that. So basically what that means is if you pay $6 for a Twitch tier 1 subscription, I get $3. And that's all great. It's absolutely fantastic. It helps out the channel a lot. And one of the differences in Twitch affiliate and Twitch partner is that I can get 70% of that revenue. So whether it's a Twitch Prime subscription, which is absolutely free, or whether it's a paid subscription, which obviously costs you, the viewer, money, I can get 70%. And that's obviously better for me. So I want to separate the two channels and I want to do exclusive live streams on Twitch. So what that means is that on a Monday and Friday, I'm going to be live streaming on YouTube as normal, but it's only going to be on YouTube. I'm not going to be streaming on Twitch during those days. And the reason for that is because, like I said, exclusivity. However, on random days, random intervals, doesn't matter when it is, uh, if I'm filming a video, if I'm doing anything repair-wise, then I'm probably going to hit go live on Twitch. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one is because it, may, it makes me, it makes me, it allows me to build the Twitch community independently from YouTube. Number two, it allows me to become partnered because it'll be exclusive. So anything I do on Twitch, I've got to keep off YouTube for 24 hours. And then that way then I can become Twitch partnered and I can earn more revenue. So ultimately that does come down to money. Obviously I've got to think of my family and all of this equipment that you see, all of the stuff I use, the hot air, the soldering irons, the camera equipment, microscope, microscope camera, it all costs money. So yeah, it's, it is a financial decision as well as a tactical decision. So the tactical reason for this is simply because YouTube is not really designed for live streaming. You can ask any person who is pure live stream on Twitch. So you've got Wayne from Wayne's World of Repairs. You've got Paul Daniels. And you've got several others who I can't think of off the top of my head. I apologize. But you've got several people who just literally live stream. They don't post any videos. Computer Boot is another one. Highly recommend checking those channels out, by the way and ask any of those those channels that just don't get any subscribers from those uh live streams and in fact from my experience it actually negatively impacts it so a few weeks ago i was live streaming randomly because i just got every so often i'll get this bug for live streaming and i do genuinely love live streaming i love interacting i love uh chatting having a laugh and stuff like that and basically I get this little bug where I'll live stream every single day for like a week or something and then all of a sudden I'll notice my graphs just go straight down, literally straight down and my normal videos, they won't get as many views so I was getting an average of 20,000 views per video, that's gone down to an average of about 10,000 I was getting an average of about 200 subs a day, that's gone down to an average of about 50 and I was getting an average of around about... I think it was around, it total across all videos, around about 500,000 views a month, and that's gone down to about 300,000. So, every single time I live stream at random intervals on YouTube, that happens. So, it's a tactical decision. I don't want the YouTube channel to be affected by live streams, but I do still want to live stream because I love doing it. So, there is a financial decision to it, and there's also a tactical decision. So, what's going to be happening on YouTube is on a Monday and Friday, Every single week, without fail, I always live stream twice a week. It's normally on a Monday and Friday. Always on a Monday, but most of the time on a Friday. If not a Friday, it's on a Saturday. And the reason for that is because sometimes I'll get big 
uh, business to business packages late. I'll send them on a Saturday instead. So I don't have enough interesting content to do on a live stream. So that's not going to change. That is all going to stay the same. And then some of those videos, or rather some of those repairs that I'll do on a live stream, they will get edited into videos as normal. And then I'll also be posting regular videos on YouTube as well that haven't been on a YouTube live stream. So for the Twitch aspect, I understand and I fully understand the Twitch and YouTube war. Some people don't like Twitch. Some people don't like YouTube, blah, 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 blah. I get it. I really do get it. You just don't like the interface. You don't like the community. You don't like um, the different features you get on there. I do genuinely get why people dislike a certain platform. And for that reason, what I'm going to be doing on Twitch, the content that I'm going to be producing on Twitch is going to be behind the scenes. So if I'm in what I call video mode, that's where I'm basically focusing just on the repair. All my attention is on the repair. I'm not interacting with chat. I'm not taking time out. You know, I'm, I'm, sometimes I'll just take a random break. I'll be like, yep, can't be bothered, and just go and take a break. So what I'll do is anything that I'm filming, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. So if I'm just filming a video, let's say, for example, I'm fixing, I don't know, this random board here. And, you know, people don't watch Nintendo Switch repairs these days. I'm lucky to get 4,000 views on a video. Genuinely, they really do. They, they, they go like that worse than the stats do when I'm live streaming randomly. Genuinely, people just don't watch these. I know there's still a lot of people that do enjoy them. But for the majority of people, I know you don't watch them. I get it. I do. But... If I'm, just feel, if I'm just basically fixing something random, I'll just fire it up on Twitch. Why not? Because I love interacting with people and I love streaming. So basically that's going to be the plan. It's going to be the behind the scenes stuff. If I'm doing a repair, that's not going to make a video. You know, if it's just like serving a console, changing a HDMI port, the boring stuff, the stuff that people have seen a thousand times on videos on YouTube that they don't really want to see on a YouTube live stream, updating consoles. Um, changing batteries in phones, all of that sort of stuff, changing screens in MacBooks. I'll just live stream it. And then what I'll do is I'll interact at set intervals when I can just stop what I'm doing and say, right, everyone can everyone can ask me questions now. You know, you, I can talk to you sort of thing. Or I can go and grab a coffee and then I can let some people, you know, respond to what I've done, throw some ideas out there. You know, it's fun. I've been doing it for the past couple of days and people seem to enjoy it. People do laugh because I'm sitting there doing my intro and they get to see the outtakes. So you literally get to see everything. You get to see the intro, the outro. I don't know why I'm tapping on my finger like this because you can't even see it. But <laughs> people get to see that sort of stuff and people do seem to like it. So people are going to be seeing that. They're also going to be seeing the outtakes. So sometimes what I'll do when I'm filming a video, if I'm filming it and my normal accent comes through because I do speak completely different on camera to what I do in real life. So if my IRL voice comes through, then basically sometimes I'll sit there and I'll stop what I'm doing, I'll recollect myself and I'll just I'll just retake that again. It's just like in a film it's just like in a, a movie where you know you like right cut, didn't like the way that sounded, do it again. Action. And I'll do that on a video because I want the videos to be not not production quality, but as clear and concise as I can possibly get them. So I'll edit out slip of the tongues and things like that. And sometimes you'll see some of my videos and I'll take a two hour video. It'll be chopped up into 25 minutes and there'll be like 300 chops because, yeah, that's just how much work goes into it. Uh, just to get it to be a nice clean video where people can actually understand it. So, yeah, just to clear it up, I am not changing anything on YouTube. It's just that the YouTube live streams are going to be exclusive to YouTube. It probably is YouTube at this point. It's pretty shit sometimes, <laughs> but I still do love it. Um, yeah, so YouTube is going to be exclusive. Um, Twitch is going to be exclusive. And then after 24 hours, so as I can obtain this partner status on Twitch, I'm going to post the VODs, the video on demand, to my second channel. So I've got a second channel called The Coda Talks, and that's got, I think, just over a 1,000 subscribers, but I don't really post there. But I'm going to start posting the uh, you know, the full live stream to there so people can watch it, they can watch the outtakes, they can watch what goes on uh, on those live streams and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically my shit posting channel. This is the main channel. This is where all the content goes. 
Um, if I live stream for a video on Twitch, it will be edited and uploaded 24 hours later or depending on, I mean, to be fair, sometimes I'll go weeks without editing the video. It just depends how busy I am. Uh, sometimes I'll have a video that I've filmed months ago. I've still got content which I filmed a year ago, which hasn't been edited into videos. Um, you know, that's just the way it goes with me because I am very, very busy. I do run two businesses. I've got YouTube, well, technically three. I've got YouTube, I've got Twitch, I've got repairs. And I've got a family with a um, pretty difficult to handle. Or to, well, he's not diagnosed as autistic, but even the doctors have agreed it's 99% sure he is. So... Um, yeah, I have a very, very busy schedule, and on top of all of that, I have to respond to emails, I have to do, I, I have to live, I barely, I barely sleep, let's be honest, but sometimes I can go a year, you know, this isn't a sympathy video, this is just me explaining my situation, and why I'm doing what I'm doing, um, sometimes I can go a year without editing a video, and then you'll see a random video from back in the old workshop, and you're like, what, what's going on, um, but it's just because the content's interesting, and I don't want to waste the content, so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. That's just the way my channel is. It's always been the same. And there's going to be a few little changes, like I said. It's always been messy. It's always been messy. They'll never change. I'll always have a messy workbench. I mean, right now it is 17.35, 5.35 p.m. Workbench is a mess. Who cares? That's just me. That's just me. That's just the way I am. But, um, yeah. Nothing's going to change on YouTube apart from a bit of exclusivity. Nothing's going to go behind a paywall. But that being said, you can support me on Patreon if you really want to. I have got a Patreon. I've also got channel merch. So you can check that out at the code.live forward slash merch. You can also become a Twitch Prime subscriber. So if you want to support me for free, actually, I might as well show something. Why not? If you want to support me for free, then... There's a link in the video description to my Twitch channel. Please give me a follow over there. Um, you never know, you might enjoy it. Just check out one of the live streams or play back some of the old live streams or something like that. You might enjoy it. Um, and basically, you can become a Twitch Prime subscriber. So if you've got Amazon Prime, then what you can do is you can link that to Twitch and you can subscribe to my channel for free. At the minute, I'll get 50% of a normal subscription. So I think I'll get like... Uh, it's either 250 or $3. I can't remember the exact amount, but... Between two fifty and three dollars per um, per subscriber, and that is great. That is absolutely fantastic. But if I become a Twitch partner, that'll go up to seventy percent. So I'll get seventy percent of all revenue. So I'll get more ad revenue. I'll get more of the subscription revenue, more of Twitch's currency, the Twitch beat cheering. I'll get more of that. So ultimately, financial uh, the financial situation does play a bit of a role in it. But I do want to make it clear. None of my content is ever going to be behind a paywall. Even if I do post some Patreon exclusives, it will get posted to YouTube a few days later. So, yeah, that's just the way it is. Um, you know, I am never going to put it behind, behind a paywall. I'm never going to stop live streaming on YouTube. I'm never going to stop live streaming on Twitch. I'm never going to stop posting videos on YouTube. I just want to see those stats continue to, grow, to glide for my sake and for the channel's sake. So I hope this clears something up. I hope it clears up the questions that people might have. And if you didn't have questions, well, maybe it's answered them in advance. So check me out on Twitch if you really want to. Uh, I would genuinely appreciate it. We have, I don't even know how much. This is an uned unedited video, so you're going to have to bear with me while I uh, just check out my Twitch channel. Uh, I know it's, uh, it is 2,774 followers, which is fantastic. 2,774 followers on Twitch. Let's make it 2,775. Um, head over there, give me a follow. I would genuinely appreciate it. And check out some of the um, some of the past live streams or something. It's greatly appreciated. The support, as always, is appreciated. And hopefully, we can continue to grow. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. And I'm happy to answer any comments or questions in the comments down below. So, check me out on Twitch. Check me out on Patreon. Check out the merch. Give me some money. See you all later. <laughs> Bye for now.